Here's a look at some of the headlines for tomorrow. We have time frame late morning through the early evening. That's the highest risk of seeing some of these storms rumbling across the area. The main issues would be damaging wind gusts and lightning. And the highest odds are from the Boston area north and west. So today's heaviest rainfall, far southeastern Massachusetts, the lowest chance of rain tomorrow is in that same spot. But when it rained, it absolutely poured almost five inches of rain. Just today in West Barnstable, the July average for the entire month in that part of the state is only two and a half inches of rain, and most of that fell in two hours. So we had a widespread amount of flooding. Some of the rain totals heaviest from about Falmouth right across the Mid Cape into Barnstable, including some of the villages around Osterville, Centerville, Marston's Mills, East Falmouth, almost four inches of rainfall. And even when you went to the Boston Metro or even northern Massachusetts, no flooding issues, but hey, that's enough to keep the lawns and gardens pretty happy. So a decent amount of rainfall region wide. Flood reports were from Martha's Vineyard right up across Falmouth. You can see where that one band was really centered. The rest of southeastern Mass is between one and two and a half inches of rain. Tonight, some showers across western Massachusetts. Those are falling apart. Our main cold front to watch is right in here, and that one could set off some strong thunderstorms on our Saturday. The morning, mainly dry, slight chance of a shower, I think especially toward the Cape, and that would be not like what we saw earlier on today. And then we'll get some sun, we'll warm up into the 80s, very humid weather, and then the storms from midday into the afternoon, most likely again a line from about Boston to Providence north and west, throw up our highest risk of rainfall. And then as we head toward the evening, we should begin to dry out across the area as that front makes a little bit more progress. So again, I think damaging wind gusts, the main issue, and briefly heavy rainfall will be expected with any of those storms. In terms of high temperatures, with some sunshine, we jump up into the 80s across the area. Very warm day, and with the humidity, it's going to feel pretty sticky outside as dew points rise to close to 70. So we're heading to the beach, lowest chance of rain, Toward the south coast and the Cape, the south shore, highest chance of rain, north shore beaches, Cape Ann, and heading up toward the sea coast. So keep an eye to the sky as the wind picks up out of the southwest. Now, in terms of our humidity, very muggy in the morning, downright humid as we approach the afternoon. That's the fuel for some of those storms. As we head into the evening, drier air starts to sweep in from west to east. It'll take a while, so you might still have the air conditioners on for the Boston area and eastern mass. But by Sunday morning, much, much drier air is going to be here. So Sunday's the weekend pick. Quieter, bright, less humid, and temperature is about 80 to 85 degrees. That should be a really nice day to be outdoors. With a westerly breeze, we'll bring that warm air right to the shoreline, not expecting any sea breezes on Sunday. So if you're heading toward the Cape, again, some morning clouds tomorrow, a slight chance of an early shower, but then mainly dry in the upper 70s and much drier and brighter all the way through on Sunday with a high near 80. In the Lakes region, definitely a high chance of storms for tomorrow. So watch the skies. And then on Sunday, we bring in that drier air and high temps around 80 there as well. So here's your seven-day outlook. On Monday, we're in the 80s. Warm day. It looks mainly dry. Tuesday, we might make a run at 90 with enough sun. A humid day and another round of strong storms will be possible there. So a more active pattern after a very quiet week this week up until today.